Hello, hello. I hope you guys are having a really awesome week. I normally get on here and share something inspirational with you or tips or tricks that I'm learning on my health and fitness journey. And I wanted to do something a little bit different with you today. Um, it's still for me inspirational and tips and tricks on what I'm learning. So tonight our team is hosting a sneak peek into what we do as coaching. It's completely free, no obligation to join. You can just come and check it out and gather some more information on what we do. And I know what you're probably thinking, coaching isn't for me. I was there, trust me, I know all of those fears that you're going through, all those excuses that may be running through your head. And I will tell you that every single day, I am so thankful that I overcame those fears and I am where I am today because I decided to say yes. So I wanted to just tackle some of those fears with you guys today. So for me, one of the biggest ones was that I was too busy. I was a new mom, we were in the transition of changing careers, we had moved. Guys, I feel that if nothing else, this quarantine and COVID thing has shown us that we get the option to decide what it is we're busy doing. We're all going to always be busy, but you get the chance to decide, especially now that things are slowly opening back up and life's getting more back to normal, you get to decide what does normal look like. You get to decide what it is you're going to be busy doing. So I get it, you're too busy. That was one of my fears too. Another one was that I'm not fit enough. I have failed literally at everything I've tried on my health and fitness journey up until this point. Stopped and started, stopped and started more times than I can count. Spent money on things that is embarrassing to admit on my health and fitness journey. The cool part is, is that being a coach, there's not a size requirement or a fitness test to take. Your main job as a coach is to take care of you and to inspire other people to do the same. And to be fully transparent with you, I've had more success as a coach on my postpartum journey since Owen at my biggest weight ever since starting coaching. So you're not fit enough. I had that thought and I now know on this side of it that it's, it's not valid. Another fear that I had is that I'm not good at selling things. I don't feel like I'm a very influential person or a great negotiator. And at the end of the day, I don't want you to be good at selling things. What I want you to be good at is making you a priority and inspiring others to take care of themselves. Yes, there is a sales transaction that happens, but you provide people with tools that will allow them to have success in their health and fitness. So I don't want you to be a great salesperson. That's not what this is about for me. Another thing is that I wasn't good at social media. And to be honest, I still don't feel like I'm a rock star at social media. But the great part is, is that we have tools and resources on our team that help me continue to grow and learn. Nobody starts something new as an expert. And that's something I have to remind myself and my team on all the time. Nobody's expecting you to be an expert. What we do expect for you is just try your best and to continue to grow as you go. And if I'm being fully honest with you today, my biggest fear was what if I fail? And it probably is your biggest fear too. And so I want us to just take a step back today and figure out what does failing actually look like for you? So for me, failing would mean that I completely quit on taking care of myself and my health and fitness. And I know because I have family and friends counting on me, my future self counting on me, health positions that I put myself in that I don't ever want to go back to counting on me. And now that I've got the tools that make it so easy, I'm not ever going to quit on my health and fitness. So honestly, what's the worst thing that could happen? You decide to join, you get connected to an incredible program and some incredible products that will help you lose weight, lose inches, gain confidence. You're going to get an incredible community around you and you don't make any money. You don't sell anything. To me, that's not a loss. I will forever and always be a coach simply because it helps hold me accountable to being the best version of me. When I first got introduced um, to Beachbody it was in August of 2015. I was three months postpartum with our son and I was struggling, <laughs> you guys. Struggling, crying a lot, sleep deprived, didn't feel uh, good as a wife at all. Probably wasn't being a good wife or a kind wife in any way, shape or form. I had no idea what I was doing as a mom and I felt like I had completely lost my purpose in life. I, I, 
And don't get me wrong, I loved being a mom and we had wanted to become parents. We, it took us over a year plus to get pregnant with Ethan, so we wanted to be parents and I was so thankful for the opportunity to be a, to be a mom, but it didn't fill my heart and my passions for helping others and teaching others the way that being a teacher had. Anybody could have changed his diapers. Anybody could have fed him his food. I missed being in the classroom. And if you know a teacher, August is the time of year that everybody's going back and they're sharing their pictures with their classroom and their new themes and the you know little packets they're making for their students. And I was sitting at home feeling so incredibly lost and sad and miserable in my own body. And a friend invited me to do the 21 day fix. And for whatever reason, I said yes to her. Literally, I, as a perfectionist, I didn't do things unless I knew I was going to be good at them. And I knew I was bad at health and fitness, <laughs> bad. But for whatever reason, I said yes to her. And I continued to do that program for about eight rounds and lost 60 pounds on it. I wasn't perfect at when I started, didn't use the containers when I started, didn't post in my group at all hardly because I was so embarrassed of the way that I looked. But I continued to show up every single day. And like I said, I lost around 60 pounds. And in that time, I also was encouraged to start taking care of my mindset. So doing personal development. I had a group of ladies, whether or not I checked in with them every day that I knew were there for me and they were showing up for themselves, which meant I could show up for myself. Um, and so in that time, we also moved. Uh, and so we were cutting all sorts of expenses. So we had stopped getting Shakeology. And in August, uh, I mean, in April of 2016, so I don't know, whatever that, from August to the next April, however long that is, um, I continued on my journey, continued on doing um, 21 Day Fix, had started 21 Day Fix Extreme, and um, we had not been on Shakeology because we were saving to move. And Mark and I both noticed after being off of it for about two months, a difference in our energy levels, a difference in our digestive system, just mood overall. And he said, is there a way that you, we could get that cheaper? And so I literally Googled how to get Shakeology cheaper, right? And it came up, become a discount coach. So I was like, I told him about it. I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to sign up for this discount coaching thing, but I'm not actually going to help anybody because I don't do that. Like I don't work with adults. I work with children. And uh, he said, I think you just need to pray about that. And so I did. And God was very, very clear in the fact that he said, everything you've learned over the past eight months, you're going to keep to yourself. And I knew that I had to be willing to put myself out there. And so I did. And I have continued to do that. And here I am four years later. And I can tell you without a shadow of doubt, there is not a single area of my life that is not better because of coaching. The community that I have, the, um, the accountability that I have to not just eat the right foods and to get a workout in, but to really be the best version of me, to really be a light to the, those around me. There's truly nothing in my life that hasn't changed for the better because I said yes to coaching. So I get it. You might be thinking coaching isn't for me. And at the end of the day, you may watch our sneak peek and you may say it, it really isn't. And that's 100% okay. But I know for me, it has changed our lives and the legacy that we're leaving our sons. So I, I want to invite you tonight to just check out our sneak peek. In the comments below, I'm going to share with you two things. One's a quick questionnaire that kind of lets me know a little bit about where you currently are and kind of what you're thinking for goals. And then the other thing's going to be the link to the group. Again, no obligation to join, totally free to check it out. And if you decide it's not for you, that's okay. It's not going to hurt my feelings in any way, shape or form. But I wanted to share with you today in case it is for you, in case you are like the 2015 Jenny who is struggling in so many ways. I want you to realize that that's not where you have to stay and that's not the life you were created to live. So again, if you would like more information or to chat privately today, tomorrow, please reach out to me or comment below, fill out the questionnaire, click the link to join. And I look forward to you potentially taking a leap of faith like I did and watching you grow. I hope you guys have a really great rest.